plenty to see in there, but plenty. You've got so many historical things that you want to go see, like a lovely river, boats on the river, the castle. The surroundings of Nairs was very nice. It's uh, got history. Nesbury is a very special place. It's one of the best places in Yorkshire. Nesbury is extremely special to me and to a lot of other people, in as much as it's a place that it's not just a town, it's a community, without a shadow of a doubt. It's the people of this town that make it what it is. My name's Kath, I am the landlady of the Old Royal Oak at Nairsborough. Born and bred in Nairsborough, seven generations, 89 nieces and nephews, and Uncle Tom Cobbley and all. There's lots and lots to do in Nairsborough. What we call the waterside is famous for the Mother Shipton's Cave, but the waterside itself and the boats, the long walk, that's why it's good for walkers, is quite renowned. There's lots and lots of arts and crafts. We have the oldest chemist shop in England. The view from the castle itself is spectacular. It's probably one of the most photographed views there is. This is one of the, the main visitor attractions, uh, not only in England, but certainly in Nairsborough. And it's the main attraction for people coming to see Nairsborough, is to actually view uh, the actual petrifying well itself. Because as you can see, as the water flows over it, uh, it turns things very rapidly into stone. These objects here are petrified so quickly that those small teddies are actually turned into stone within three months. We call the place the Marigold because uh, about 100 years ago there used to be a floating cafe here which was uh, the Marigold, Marigold boat people used to come on that so we just kept the name. We have canoes as well, we've got paddle boards and we've got, we got boats. Families can go and have a nice trip up the river and back again or they can take a picnic up the river and have a picnic and come back again. So that's what they do and um, they have a nice time, just nice and peaceful. Personally I love churches and I think we have quite a special one in St John's Baptist Church. If you do like churches please go down and see it because it's absolutely a job. It's steeped in history once again. Church is unlocked from about 8.30 in the morning till about 5 at night. And one of the lovely things about that is that visitors come all the time. It's very rare to be in this building and not find a visitor. Um, and one of the things that we offer them is the opportunity to leave candles, to leave, to leave prayers, which we then bring into our liturgy. Um, and one of the things that's lovely is when you actually read the visitor's book at the back of church, there are two things that people really talk about when they come here. One is peace and the other is the beauty of the building. The centre is run by Henshaw Society for the Blind. Um, it's a centre where people with learning difficulties uh, and disabilities come to work, but we're also a visitor centre and we're open to the public Monday to Friday between 9 and 4 pm. Um, we've got galleries, exhibitions, sensory gardens, um, shops, and you can come and see the crafts that we're selling the shop being made. Art in the Mill is an old flax mill, 200 years old. The gallery is spread across three floors. It's a good historic building for Nairsborough. It's representative of the linen industry and it's an emporium, if you like, of art. We've got about 130 Yorkshire artists here. We have a really nice golf course at Nairsborough because um, it's a very good course. Beautiful scenery even going to it, never mind anything else. Set in nice parkland conditions. Very fortunate that we're not overlooked by any houses or any roads. So you get a real um, peaceful feeling when you're out here playing on the course. It's just you and the golf course when you're out there. Obviously, when you come to Nairs, with a uh, aside from the tourist side. We do have some quaint, unusual shops. This is not like a town centre. So if you're looking for something unusual, you've certainly come to the right place. Oh, yay! Citizens of Nairsborough and visitors to our wonderful town, market traders and local business people, 
On behalf of the Town Council and the Chamber of Trade, I bid you greetings and welcome you all to the opening of the weekly market. Why do they film for the bargains? Because it's a nice local market, it's a lovely town and people appreciate the fact that they get good quality goods at sensible prices and good value for money. They'll be telling everybody, look, they'll all be here. <laughs> Eh? What the? The dates back to the 18th century, it's an 18th century inn. I have maintained its character. I've not altered it, it still has the beams in there that were originally in there. So all we've done is just um, enhanced it. But all the original features are still in. We even have a priest home <laughs> for the underground tunnels that lead to the castle. When they used to, the priests had to escape from the castle. The converted livery stable was done four years ago. It has six ensuite rooms and loads and loads of character in there. We've got four doubles, two twins. One of the twins is actually a disabled room, which is quite rare in this town. Actually, I think I'm the only one that has one, I don't know. But, so we do accommodate the disabled as well. No qualms about breakfast at all. I was brought up with ten children, right? And my mother always said, you don't get out of this house unless you have a hearty breakfast, right? So that is a given. The breakfasts that are done in here, you can't fault them. Everybody comments on them, you know, because it's true. The quality's good, because uh, it's sourced correctly, locally. And they're just so friendly. The staff are brilliant. I couldn't run this place without my staff. The reason people come to Old Rye Oak is quite simply because of staff and customers. Because they're made to feel so welcome and the only reason that people repeatedly come back is simply because of the friendliness of the Nesbarians and staff. Can I have my brandy now? Thank you for listening. God save the Queen. Thank you.